EKU men's basketball opened up the season at McBrayer Arena, and the Colonels welcome in the Eagles of Coppin State. One of the things first-year head coach Dan McHale has stressed is athleticism, and here's Jarrell Rochelle showing off his with the first of three steals, and for the second game in the row, the senior picks a pocket in the opening minute. Eastern would shoot 53% from the field in the game. Here's Dick Mayo going up and under for the hoop and the harm. Under eight left in the half. Hawkins drops one of his five dimes to Rochelle. Money. The senior would pour in a game-high 21 points. Look at this ball movement before Jalen Bab Harrison plays alley-oop with Greg King. The sophomore would have 11 of EKU's 36 bench points. CSU down six. When James Sylvester gets blocked by Nick Mayo, he would record three of those. Jamil Powell will come up with the loose ball. He'll run the floor and finish with a hard flush. Powell would chip in 18 points. And in the second half, EKU would put their foot down. Look at Javante Hawkins with the wicked crossover. Splash! EKU up 18. The redshirt junior wasn't done. He'll be on the tail end of this fast break with a one-handed finish. That play looks so good, I'll think we'll show it again. I'll throw it over to Greg Stottlemyre and change the angle. And we're up in front, Powell to Weaver. A Hawkins one-hand highlight, rim rattler. The USF transfer would tally 19 points. Isaac McGlone shows off his range. Buckets. The Colonels would put up a C-note and would not make Coach McHale wait long for his first win. We caught up with the game's leading scorer. Um, to get a, get a home win um, at home is definitely something we wanted to do. And it was very important for our confidence. And um, I just want to go out there and just give a lot of effort and energy. Um, just me being a senior, being a, being a leader on the court and off the court, being a vocal for the guys, and just, just doing, just doing uh, the little things, I, was, I would say. Just, just getting my hands on rebounds. I got to rebound more and know that. Um, just scoring, um, dishing out passes, just things like that. Whatever the teams need me to do, I, I want to do. EKU is back on the hardwood on November 16th when they traveled to UNC Wilmington before returning to Richmond for the at EKU Hoops Classic. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.